All right, guys. Thanks. So uh, I'm here with Joe, uh, Lil Aaron, and Nate. Uh, all three of these guys do a lot of different things, but they're what we're here to talk about today is, you know, what they're doing with NASCAR and their music and all that. Two, two of the three guys here are doing uh, are involved in music. So, um, yeah. So Aaron, it started with you sponsoring our guy here, Joe, and stuff. But um, before we get right. to that, uh, Joe, you know, are you did you grow up listening to this, uh, you know, emo type of music, Warped Tour stuff, or is this something that's kind of new to you? So it's it's kind of new to me. I'm 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 pretty new to the scene. I, I didn't really grow up listening to it. Um, I was I was more on like the rap and stuff like that. Okay, so you weren't you weren't the traditional like you know listening to country music, southern boy kind of thing. No, so I'm actually from New Jersey. So okay, very far from the south. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So just so people, um, this is usually a music type of uh, deal here. So. You know, you're the first NASCAR driver we've had on here. So just give people a rundown how you got your start and that and everything. Usually we talk, ask people how they got started in their music projects. So, like, how did you get start with racing and uh, end up, you know, with, uh, with these guys? So I, I grew up just uh, going to my local short track, Bethel Motor Speedway, watching my dad race. Um, and then we moved to Minnesota for a few years. And I got in a bandolero out there, got an opportunity to go race. Um, I was a short track racer up until I was – 18 race bandoleros legend cars modifieds you name it and then uh got the opportunity to go run some arca stuff um for those of you that don't know arca is the level right below um the nascar truck series so i ran that for two years and then um the last two two and a half years i've been in the nascar xfinity series okay and how's that been treating you so far it's it's been going well we're having a good Good year this year. Um, like every season, it's got its ups and downs, but but overall, we're trending in the right direction, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. All right, awesome. And Nate, a lot of people may know you from uh, I Set My Friends on Fire and, and all that. So, how did you, uh, a guy who's known for playing breakdowns on stage and getting kids to mosh and everything, get involved with uh, with NASCAR? Well, uh, as you know, music pays really, really well. Oh so yeah, I definitely. Made, I actually made too much money. I had to stop. <laughs> <laughs> those, spot, spot, those spotify streams pay you too well yeah life got too boring because yeah i'm with orange just their streaming checks that we never got were just so big well <laughs> also you got to count all the touring money we made last year oh yeah dude. <laughs> i made more touring money last year than i did in any other year ever no. what, what's sad is that's probably true for a lot of bands <laughs> right <laughs> yeah we didn't lose money last year so that's a good thing but yeah we're but, one, uh, for one year we're not in the red but in all seriousness, uh, isn't Fob was was cool while while we did our thing, but uh, it was just time for something new. And uh, I reached out to Joe on Instagram. I just been, so before I did this, I was actually a teacher, and I got fired from my teaching job and reached out to Joe on Instagram. Um, we had never talked before ever. Uh, I was friends with another yeah. driver who my uh, who my dad sponsored in the past. Uh, but uh, I reached out to Joe, kind of a shot in the dark, and it just so happened that at the time that I reached out, he was kind of looking for someone. So I hopped on a call with his dad, and uh, we talked, and then I talked to Joe the following week, and just a week later, I moved into his house. Okay, so, okay. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the grand scheme of things. I'm home right now. I wish that my bedroom there was this cool. I was about to say, are you guys in two separate rooms on the same Zoom call? No, no. I, 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 that I, would be funny. I don't think Joe would let me put up Ramshine and him posters here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, like, I, I have a feeling you've kind of had a, like, had a hand in, like, guys like little Aaron coming on, and, and even another band who's not here right now, but called Avoid, has been involved in NASCAR for a little bit as well, so... um what role have you been playing in the background of stuff, getting Joe hooked up with all these like alternative types of uh, sponsors and, and partners and everything. So, I mean, it's not just music. I mean, we've had uh, Alvin Kamara sponsor, you know, fellow Xfinity driver, uh, Ryan Vargas has passed uh, the season so far as well. So um, what's it been like on the back end, bringing in all these new deals, you know, you know, coming from like the, you know, like if you want to call it the warp tour scene into something as big as NASCAR. Yeah, it, it's kind of funny. I've been getting like, so when I started doing this deal, I got a lot of messages from people like secretly from bands in the scene who are like, no, like, like, I can't say this publicly, but like NASCAR sick. Like, congratulations. <laughs> like, there's like a, there's like a hidden scene of NASCAR fans within the scene. Um, but just through that, like, 
Um, you know, Joe's, I think that if there was a driver for them to fit, Joe would be that driver. Or, or uh, not a good old Southern boy by any means. He's, he's from New York. He grew up in that era. Um, so just kind of with that, we decided to uh, kind of look outside the box and see what we could bring in more um, more partners from like the perspective of, of creativity versus where everybody else looks. And it went over really well when we brought in a void um, who are all openly NASCAR fans, but um, little Aaron and I, so we're introduced by Greg Long from we are triumphant. Oh yeah. Greg shout out to Greg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah shout out to Greg. Shout out to Greg. Greg. Did, yeah. so, Greg just posted a picture on his story of me and him from 10 years ago. Oh my That's God. Crazy. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So super random. Uh, we, I got a text from Greg like two weeks ago. That's like, yo, can you score me two extra tickets to the Las Vegas race? I was like, sure. Like, what are the names? And he's like, Aaron Jennings. And I was like, yo, isn't that little Aaron? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, he came out and kind of as a joke, somebody tweeted like, yo, you should sponsor Joe. And it just so happened that like the one race that we had open this year was coming up in Atlanta so uh, we we went out to dinner the next day, and we're kind of like, yo, like, what do we have to do to make it a reality? Um, we talked about it, shot around some ideas. I sent it, So I got a car made up that night, and Aaron sent it, uh, left me on red for two days. <laughs> left me on red for two days. <laughs> in the car, right? But so I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, it was cool. We said it, it's not going to work out. Randomly in the middle of the day, Wednesday, he FaceTimes me. He's like, yo, we're doing it. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, uh, I, had to ch- I had a couple boxes I had to check off before I got back to you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But it all worked out. It all worked out. I had to convince my team. It was a very, I mean, it was a very left field thing for me to present to my team. And and I recently bought a house, so my my business manager was like, are you sure you want to be thrown around this bread like this? And I was like. I was like, dude, I think we can make money uh, off of this. Like, I, I, you know, when I started, because as soon as the idea became real, like a real possibility, I was just like, okay, how do I make this worthwhile? So that's when we came up with the idea of shooting a music video. So we shot a music video with the car, which obviously, like, if you're sh- if I decided to shoot a music video and then wanted to put an ass car into it, we're fucking, I don't even know how I would have started to pull that off. So, <laughs> so, like, the fact that we had the car, I was like, all right, we're shooting a music video knocking that out and then i was like starting to come up with ideas i'm like all right cool what if we do like a really cool little merch capsule so we came up with some ideas and especially when we when we came up with the die cast car idea i was like all right we got to do this this is going to be like a moment you know so i convinced my team that it was worth it and we went forward with it and honestly like it could not have gone better like the way the internet reacted to it the way you know twitter and instagram they're still engaged I posted yeah. something this morning. They're still really engaged off of it. So I think people, it was left field for everyone. So, so it kind of, we, I, even when we were talking about the idea, I was like, yo, I'm going to post the what if post on Wednesday. So like I posted just like the mock-up and I was like, what if I do this? And then even when I posted the car on Friday or yeah, on Friday, after we shot the video with it, I posted a picture of me in the car. People still didn't believe that it was a car that was going to be an actual race. <laughs> And then it wasn't until like the day of the race where I'm like my, posting on my story, like the car going around the fucking track and it in the fucking at the pit and shit where people are like, oh, this is a real car in a real race. I was like, yes, it's a fucking NASCAR. I'm not lying to you. This is real. Yeah. And like I saw a picture of Lil Lotus coming down wearing the Easy Grills. Uh, not Easy. Uh, it looks like an Easy, all the Easy Grills. <laughs> the Z Grills the Z Grills, it always yeah. looks like it's Easy Grills with the like mm-hmm. on the Z. So yeah, I saw him wearing that fire suit and everything. And so, uh, Joe, what was it like seeing these guys just like invade your race shop and just start filming music videos and just just going buck wild everywhere? <laughs> and it was so much fun. It was so much fun. Like I I had a blast with these guys. Um, it was yeah, it, it was crazy. Fun. Like something I'd I'd certainly never done, but it was it was so much fun. I I couldn't ask for a better experience. It was a blast. Yeah, exactly. We got we got some we got some cool shots of Joe. It'll be once you once you see the video, it'll all make sense. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, Joe, you, you said you grew up listening to rap, so I'm sure it was pretty cool having uh, Aaron and uh, Lotus in there. Uh, doing oh, it, thing. it was awesome. It was awesome. Like, and, like, for it to come together the way it did, like, we went to 
with the Vegas. I, I, I met you at Vegas, Aaron. Like, I'm out to lunch with you the next day. And then, like, two weeks later, he's on a race car. I'm like, oh, my. Like, this is awesome. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. It, ha- it happens so fast. Yeah. But we, re- we pulled it off. There was a lot of uh, late night FaceTimes between me and Nate, but we made it happen. Absolutely. Yeah, Aaron. So what, what, is, your, what is your brand about? Because I saw the merch drop, which is freaking sick. But I really don't know what your company is actually about. Yeah. The, the name that was on the car. So uh, what, what, what has is heart. Your- yeah, what is, so, what, what is that about? House Heart kind of just started as like, <laughs> I, it's just like, a, it was just like a cool logo I made with my friends and I would put it on the back of all my albums and the back of my shirts and hide it in designs. It was just like, almost like without saying Lil Aaron, it was like a logo that represented me. And then so over time, it kind of became, it kind of became bigger than that. And, you know, now it's a label and I have people signed to it and it's a clothing line. So has heart kind of is everything and nothing to me. It's like, it's my stamp of approval. It's like, it's just like, Hey, I think this is cool. And, and I want has heart as a brand and just like what it is, just be bigger than me. You don't have to be a little Aaron fan to rock some has heart. It just means it, it just represents, you know, fucking having fun and doing whatever the fuck. I mean, I feel like the whole idea of sponsoring a NASCAR in two weeks is pretty much rem- representative of what has heart is. It's just, Take a chance, do some cool shit, have fun, and like don't give a fuck what anyone else thinks. Yeah, like this team has been dubbed, uh, I guess, the emo team of NASCAR right now. And I love that. <laughs> yeah, so you know, like that is that is another thing. Um, even in the the Cup Series, like Blaney and Bubba Wallace, they're big, you know, fans of like you know the Warped Tour bands and that type of thing too. So it's like kind of like you know nothing new for like the, some of the newer drivers to be fans of that stuff but for someone to come in you know from that time and and work with the team and sponsor that team and put that brand on a race car like it's i mean other than avoid doing it last year someone from like outside the sport completely that's kind of like unheard of in a way so you know, it was kind of cool how like you know like different you know people from like the nba nfl are in the sport and now it's like th- this the underground kids are coming into the sport now and uh, putting their mark yeah. on this. So that's no, I cool. love it. It was it was an honor to be able to do it and kind of, you know, put my put my stamp on it and be like, yo, this is like this is a culture that I ride with. You know, what I'm saying I'm from Indiana. So like I grew up around this shit. Like my dad, my dad watched a lot of NASCAR, was a big Jeff Gordon fan. And same. And like, you know, it, it's just like it, it's an all American sport and I'm an all American kid. So I'm like, it just felt right to just tie myself to it and. And especially having having Joe and Nate welcome me with open arms. All the all the NASCAR guys that I met over the last two weeks have been so nice and like welcoming. And and you know, there's a lot of scenes where that's not the case and and it's really closed off and you have to like try to prove yourself. But people just seem to be happy that I was involved and that I was supportive. So I wanted to reciprocate that and and you know, it worked out really well. I feel like I made a lot of a lot of good friends and I made a lot of new fans and I see it on Twitter every day. Some of these 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 uh, Joe Graf fans in my Twitter mentions. It's and it's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Both sides were like, I saw my fans be like, "Hey, I watched my first NASCAR race because of this." Yeah. And then I see Joe Graf fans being like, "Hey, I checked out Lil Ann for the first time because of this." Like that's that's the perfect you know relationship is where we're both just growing and and thriving off of it, and at the same time like. I enjoy watching Joe do what he does and he enjoys dancing in my music videos. So like, <laughs> it's, it's really just like, I think at its core, the reason it worked out is because when me and Joe met for the first time, it was, it was natural. And we're, you know, I, I think if I met a race car driver that, you know, wasn't interacting me with interacting with me on Twitter the next day, who knows if I would fucking sponsor their car, you know, it was just off the, off the rip. It just felt like, it just felt normal and it felt good. And so it felt like the right thing to do to just fucking wrap the car and make it look badass. Yeah. So uh, the next question the car is did when... look awesome, dude. That, no, that it did. There's, yeah, only, I think, there's only one person that was more stoked to see the car than Aaron. And that was Aaron's dad. Yeah. My dad was <laughs> so fucking stoked. Aaron's dad was on cloud nine. The, the entire. Oh my God. Yeah. I was so happy. I got to, I got to, you know, provide that that joy for him for the weekend he was ecstatic but uh, so, uh aaron uh inside inside the garage where you know no one could really see did joe did you let aaron uh sit inside and crank her up and take her for a spin anywhere <laughs> 
I didn't I didn't take it for a spin, but I did sit on that tiny little seat, and I don't know how he does that for <laughs> two or three hours. I was I was in there for like five minutes, and I was like, please get me out of here. <laughs> I was I, I was way too. I was way too claustrophobic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so, uh, what are they going to let you sing the anthem, Aaron? <laughs> Look, man, I'm ready. NASCAR, I'm ready. When are we going to do the auto-tune national, national anthem? That's what I'm saying. Dude, oh, my God. <laughs> no. The, the, na- the national anthem, you know, like, that, that's one of the things that I think that this came at the perfect time under the fact that, like, we struck it while it was hot. You know, like, like Las Vegas was two weeks ago when – avoids anthem went for for better or for worse went viral yeah but, yeah but you know um people even people in the garage are stoked on like what's gonna what they're gonna see next on our car like i really think that that we're one of the teams that are that are taking the chances to go and bring other people into the sport like we brought in antonio williams from, from mm-hmm. the buffalo bills um seeing seeing the little aaron stuff in in the avoid stuff work the way that it did it's got a ton of people hitting us up to be like, Hey, how can I get involved in this? Yeah. I mean, even funny enough, like another driver texted me after the race in Las Vegas and is like, or uh, not Las Vegas and Phoenix, or, uh, Atlanta Atlanta. Last weekend, Landon Castle. And he's like, yo, I've had little Aaron on repeat. Like since I got here, who's a scene kid at heart too. If, I, if I'm mistaken, I believe he's uh into the heavier, heavier music as well. So yeah. Landon's <laughs> super scene. Yeah, so <laughs> shout out Landon. That was that was a cool little uh, surprise to hear from Nate when he sent me that that he was listening to my stuff, and that and that's part of it too. It was like learning, you know, when I first went to to the um, Vegas race, and then Nate was saying as soon as they posted photos of me that like there was dudes in the pit. They were like, "Yo, is Lil Aaron here?" I'm like, I "Oh had my no god!" Idea. I had no idea that people that were in racing, you know. Were familiar with me so once i knew that like at least the people like that were working behind the scenes in racing were a fan of me or or you know enjoyed my music and what i do like that's when i was like oh okay well if they like it then the fans are gonna like it like yeah. this is this makes sense now it's I- one of those like this is so obvious but i never had the opportunity but it's like this has kind of been right in front of my face my whole life but i would never in a million years just be like hmm, i'm gonna sponsor a race car unless it happened how it happened you know yeah now, what you're saying there and what, uh, Nate, you mentioned, and uh, Joe, I don't think you've ever experienced Warped Tour or anything, but I think from a sport standpoint, if there's anything that comes close to it, it's got to it's gotta be NASCAR in a way. If you really yeah. think about it with like the drivers and the bands, you know, you're going meeting your friends at the racetrack, you know, interacting with a bunch of people. It's, you know, it's kind there's of some insane. beef, some fights, you know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, r- r- racing and music are so similar, not just because like we all travel all the time, but like the way you have to grind to come up and everything like it's it, it's kind of one in the same like it's Very DIY it's, yeah it starts off DIY then you get signed I mean at the at the beginning that. at the beginning you're driving your fucking white van to every city so you're basically a race car driver trying to get there in 6 <laughs> hours before your show starts and then uh, you get your car to the track and then you drive 6 hours for a race and then the engine blows and then you're driving on tour and your transmission goes out so there we go. <laughs> absolutely yeah. absolutely I, I remember like Coming up, I'd race all over the country. Like I'd race like in Alabama on a Saturday night and drive home 17 hours after and go race somewhere wow. else on Tuesday. Like it was like just going everywhere. Like it was that's, that's it. insane. Yeah, there You're are crazy some guys, man. like some of the older guys are still doing that. Still like they're yeah. like in their fifties, sixties, and they're still going everywhere and all over the place to like Bobby Labonte's still racing a whole lot from what I know, like dirt, oh, dirt yeah. tracks and stuff. Absolutely. Cookout, shout out to Cookout. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. That's, that's like awesome. I want. The, I need a Cookout most, sponsorship. Yeah, that's probably like the most like hip fast food restaurant you could probably have sponsor you is this Cookout. That's fine. You're sponsored by Cookout. You've made it like McDonald's. They sponsor everybody. Burger King. They're there. But like you know, Cookout. cookout. Though, if you got if you got Cookout, you're kind of a you're kind of a big deal. I would take I would take Raising Canes too as a sponsor personally. What's that? <laughs> Raisin Canes, if, if, I would take them as a sponsor. Have you had Raisin Canes chicken? Oh, y'all are missing out. Canes chicken's dope. Canes chicken. Yep. If anybody happens to be watching this and is the CEO of Raisin Canes, reach out. <laughs> Connect. Absolutely. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah so uh, what's next for you uh for you and nate musically uh nate i know you're involved in another project called losers club you, you just released some stuff and aaron i saw today on twitter you mentioned you just wrapped up some new music so respectively yeah. to you guys and your uh projects outside of, of of nascar you know what do you guys have going on yeah i um i, I do i i do losers club when i can um it's really not a full-time thing like i'm uh I'm pretty busy with NASCAR, but uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, like I've really transitioned the main focus of my life to racing. Um, and it, it's the closest, like, like I said, I still get to play music and, and write songs in my basement when, when I have free time, but uh, racing is definitely like the closest thing that I found to music when I kind of realized that music wasn't really going to work out. Um you know, and I don't want to say it didn't work out because I'm, I'm thankful for everything that we got to do. We got to tour overseas. We got to do warp Tour. We got to do all that. But, you know, it wasn't sustainable. So um, I, I think that racing was just the next thing that, that was that was in in there. So uh, I love it. I love the job that I have in Losers Club. Like, thankfully, like, you know, we announced the tour today. And, like, I texted Joe and, and, and uh, the rest of the team when we got the – got the offer and i was like yo it's cool if i can't do this it's the week before championship season ends. <laughs> i am so <laughs> stoked for you to do it though that is gonna be awesome i, I did I see those dates and i was like that that's kind of like correlates with nascar right there yeah, <laughs> joe, joe immediately was like do it joe's dad was like do it my 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 the rest of the co-workers were all like yeah dude like we'll hold it down like so so like I said, music, music when it allows, but uh, but racing is the main focus and the main lifestyle now. I know that, I, you know, I still get messages from from fans every day that are like, "Yo, you sold out!" Like, <laughs> like give up! Like, like Matt Matt tweeted something the other day, which wasn't about me. Matt and Matt and I are, are, are really good friends, but Matt tweeted something that said uh, that said, "At least I never gave up." And I think that people thought that we were like beefing. <laughs> so like right after that, tweet, I got like. Like, and, and this shows the ratio. I got, like, five are you okay, but I got, like, 40, 45 fuck yous. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, that's how the kids be. But, you know, it, 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 like I said, I get, kind of get the vicariously lived through through Aaron and, and Lotus and the people that are, are killing it right now. Um, so it, it's cool. Best of both worlds. Man, we love having your support, too. It's awesome. <laughs> love you, dog. Oh yeah, same. Yeah, so I got I, I I have an EP coming out soon. One of the songs with with Lotus is the song we we shot a video for in the garage. So that'll be dropping here soon, and then the rest of the EP will probably make it out in the next month or so. So keep your ears peeled for that. It's some really good music. I'm excited for it. When's that video dropping? Do you have a date for that? Soon. Just keep your keep your eyes peeled. You guys, should, you, should awesome. guys, uh, you should guys drop some bread and uh, have it air like during it before a race oh that'll be fire nate hook it up <laughs> nate, um, get on it <laughs> i mean so, i mean it works like i mean it's nascar related so <laughs> so I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you uh you know the the day or not the day but two days before the race we got hit up and we're like yo we have some questions about this rap from now <laughs> and we were like <laughs> Oh man, like are we? I didn't good? Even think about that. <laughs> but like after we answered the questions, they were super stoked. Like, oh yeah, they they were all about it, all about yeah, it. Yeah, they they were like, yes, like let's bring a little air into the sport. We love it. Like literally on the bumper, it literally says I, or the TV panel, but yeah. people, most people call it the bumper is uh, it literally says stream little Aaron. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> it, it was uh. It was funny, you know, Joe, whoever ran behind you, they probably were, they probably engraved that in their mind. You probably went up a few Spotify listeners that, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to look <laughs> at the stats. <laughs> yeah. Some my, guys streams went up, my streams went up in South Atlanta over the weekend. Some guys riding behind Joe in the race and, and he's like, you know, we're not passing, doing much passing right now. You know, who's this little Aaron guy? Hey guys, let's yeah. win. Like, Hey, stream little Aaron real quick. Tell me what that sounds like. <laughs> pump, it, pump it through the microphone. Let me hear that. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, Joe, so, uh, you know, what's next for you? I mean, obviously, you know, you're racing and everything, but, I mean, like, in terms of, like, some stuff you're working on, you know, with your sponsors and all that, so what are some other projects you're involved with? Yeah, so uh, we just got back from Atlanta. We got a couple weeks off before Martinsville, but uh, a lot of stuff going on. We got another Z Grills race coming up at Talladega. That's going to be a blast. Um, got 
a new sponsor that we haven't run yet called G coin. Um, we run them, um, for four races starting at Coda. So that'll be a lot of fun. And, uh, Bucked Up's coming back for a few more races, and uh, there's definitely some more partners we haven't announced yet. Okay, so is that um, so is that a is that a G coin? Is that like a cryptocurrency type thing? Exactly, but it's backed by gold. Okay, nice. Damn, I went in on that. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight with us. Um, Looking forward to seeing you, what you uh, do rest of the season, Joe. Um, you and uh, Vargas have become my two guys in Xfinity, so I'm rooting for you guys every week to do really well. Um, and then Nate, you know, you're a homie, so always, always good to talk to you and hang out. And Aaron, uh, looking forward to the new music. You know, I've been digging your oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, man. And, Thanks uh, for having me. Can't wait to see what you do with, with awesome. NASCAR if you uh, stick around and keep keep putting stuff. I'm here, away. baby. I'm here for good. <laughs> All, right, guys, All right, take it easy. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.